If you back up all of your photos on Google Photos for safekeeping, you may find that looking for photos of certain people can be a bit of a challenge if you don't already have them organized. Luckily enough, the app has a few powerful tools that make finding people a snap. Here's what you need to do. To start, you'll need to check if you've got face grouping enabled. If you've got your desktop browser up and running, head over to photos.google.com forward slash settings linked in the description below to open your settings for Google Photos. If you aren't already signed into your account, you'll first be prompted to do so. Once your settings page loads, scroll down and expand the tab labeled Group Similar Faces. From here, toggle on Face Grouping if it isn't already toggled on. And you're all set. If you need to do this on your phone, open your Google Photos app and tap on your profile icon at the top right. Tap on Photo Settings, then the tab labeled Group Similar Faces. Toggle on Face Grouping if it isn't already toggled on, and that's that. In either case, if you can't find the option, the feature may not be available for your region. If you do have it though, you'll now be able to find and organize photos of your friends using their faces. To start, head over to photos.google.com forward slash people to see the different faces the service can detect from your photos. Click on the face you want to look for. Google Photos will then load in all the photos it can detect with your selected face. To be able to search for the person by name, click on add a name at the top. Type in your friend's name or nickname, then click done. To do this on the Photos mobile app, Open it and tap on the search icon at the bottom of the screen. Under the section labeled People, tap on the face you want to search for. Google Photos will then load in all the photos it can detect with your selected face. To be able to search for the person by name, tap on Add a Name, then type in your friend's name or nickname. Tap on the check icon at the lower right to save it. And that's all there is to it. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Google Chrome and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy. Mm -hmm.